Hey guys, so in Matthew chapter 9, the book of Matthew, we see the call of Matthew. Jesus goes and he finds this tax collector named Matthew and tells him, follow me. And so next thing you know, we see that they are at Matthew's house. And while at Matthew's house, uh, they are joined by a lot of tax collectors and sinners and all these people that at the time were not considered... Mm, high society they were considered the low of the low and these Pharisees saw what's happening and in their hearts they're saying you know like this man this Jesus he's the rabbi is supposedly you know such such a great and powerful person then you know why is he eating with sinners and why is he eating with tax collectors why is he eating with the low of the low you know like how dare he and Jesus responds and he says look it is not the healthy that need a doctor it's the sick and so he's basically saying you know that he is here for those that are sick and in doing that he also turns around and he you know says find out what this means i desire mercy not sacrifice and so these this pharisees they get a lesson here as well because although it seems like, in this case, that Jesus is calling the Pharisees the healthy, in, in all reality, they have some issues, and they have some major issues. And Jesus says, go find what the, look at this, this is in scripture, this is in the thing that you studied, where it says that they, that, you know, God requires, or God desires this mercy, not sacrifice and these pharisees are all about the sacrifice they're all about what they've given up and what they have done and yet jesus is like no 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 no, no. you you missed out and he said that you know like I, i'm here you know like i'm not here to call the righteous i'm here to call sinners and so uh this is kind of encouraging to me because i'm like wait hold on okay you know jesus has come to help me Right? I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to make all of the sacrifices in order to you know, be able to be worthy of Jesus. I'll never be worthy, but he called me because of who he is. And so that being said, you know, like we can rest assured that, you know, like, yeah, we might mess up. We might, you know, but, but Jesus wants to be, he, he's, his heart was to be with the sinners, to be with those that, you know, like needed help. So my question now becomes, hey, are you spending your time with the people that need you? Or are you spending the time with the people that don't really need you? How are you spending your ministry time, right? It doesn't even have to be, you know, like this could be family, friends. This could be anyone around you. The people that are around you, the ones that you're called to. Are you spending your time wisely? Are you spending your time with those that need what you have and if not what do you need to do to change that thanks for taking a minute